welcome back right so so far so good we are creating messages and we have a few errors on our page so not to worry let's solve these errors one line at a time okay so i'm going to say undefined variable here this is the error on line 23 and the variable is error okay so i'm going to copy that variable right there the variable name and let's go back to messages.phpnc so as you can see here on line 23 this error is equal to empty so what i want to do is copy this and put it let's put it right at the top here so i must have deleted a variable somewhere so let me do just that here and let me remove one equal sign because we are assigning here so error is equal to empty okay then we'll put some errors here if need be so that will remove some of the errors so let's refresh and there we go that's looking a bit cleaner now and then it says are you sure you want to delete this post so definitely this is not what we want to be asking here uh, the question should be this should say message uh, new actually messages so if there's new at the end there then we will know that uh, we want to start a new message so let me refresh here this is messages but it should say start new message or new message if we are starting a new message there so let's check uh, for that memory location there before we make that decision which is here so I will give uh, I will put an if statement here I'm going to say if URL so first of all what we will do is let's just uh, tell it to show what's inside URL like that so that you, we know what we are looking for where where what we are looking for is so here as you can see there's messages and then there's new so new is on location number one and so that's where we should be looking so I will put an if statement here instead I'll say if first of all we start with is set just to avoid any errors so if URL uh, one is set like so and that's in uh, yeah let's say URL one is equal to new like that like so and then let's uh, bracket e like that okay so it's new which is true here and then we'll put some other else ifs here so i'll just put else for now and do this so i'm going to duplicate this and move it in here and move the other one to the else statement okay so if it's new then we're going to say new message new message or oh, just say start new message just so it's very different okay messages okay good so let's refresh now so it says start new message if I remove that at the end it's going to say messages okay so we are good to go we are golden all right so undefined variable row now before we start dealing with this uh, the remainder of this part I want us to create a table in the database so that we have somewhere to read from whether there are records there or not so go to your uh, local host here just go to our table and let's create uh, we go to our database sorry and let's create a new table so I'm going to click new under my uh, database here or I can simply say create table right there so I will say this one will be messages uh, of course so messages now let's see how many uh, columns we need so I've written down the columns we need here so this ID message ID of course we need to know the sender so these are all IDs uh, user IDs so we need to know the sender 
the receiver in case the sender sends a file so we need to be able to do that and then the message itself the content of the message and then we need to know if the message was received we need to know if the message was seen and then we need to uh, know if the sender deleted this message or if the receiver deleted this message and also the date so let me explain i think everything else here well, for example uh, let me explain message id here so we have an id here of course so you'll be wondering maybe why are we not using this id as the message id itself no id will be an id of each single message that is sent but message id will be the thread id right so let's say i send uh, someone a message today i say i send john a message that message will be given an id of let's say one right and then while we are doing our back and forth that message id will remain one because it's exactly the same thread even when I so for as long as I message John the message ID will always stay the same because it will always be the same thread meanwhile the ID will change per message okay and then deleted sender and deleted receiver these are important because there's only one copy of the message and if one of them deletes the message then it it's deleted for both of them so we don't want that so instead of actually deleting the message we're just going to mark it as deleted so that we don't show it to the user the user will think oh it's gone but it still be there just marked as deleted that way we can still show the same message to the receiver all right the alternative of this is to create two messages each time a message is sent one for the sender one for the receiver but that's wasteful because uh, space is important okay so let's see how many of these we need one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven so let's upgrade this to eleven and hit go okay creating a table so let's add our columns so this ID there's MSG ID and then there is um, there is the sender receiver and then there's the message itself and then we have a file and then we will have um, let me put date at the very end here and I will have let me come back here and see what I'm okay so there's received and there's seen there we go received seen and then our last two which is uh, deleted sender deleted let me just copy this one it's harder to type so I'll put it here and I'll put this one there and just change to uh, sender okay pretty good now the important thing is where do we get the the data types so here I will put big int on the ID and the message ID now this is important it depends how we want to structure the message ID system so now for me I want to use um, I want to use letters as well letters and symbols in the message ID itself so I'll use variable character and then I will obviously give it a value of 60 you can give it uh, a length of 100 if you want that's up to you that would mean you can save more messages but 60 is quite large so I'll leave it there and then uh, sender now the sender is the senders identifier so in order to know how we identify our users let's open the users table in another tab here so we can make uh, let's go to our structure so before we go there let's look at our user here so we have a tag name uh, which we are sure will always be oh actually the tag name will always be unique but the problem is the user can change the tag name so the next best thing is the URL address so we can use this as well but 
that will be easy for people to identify and read messages if they look at our table. So instead, let's use the user ID. Okay, so how long is the user ID? It's a big int, big integer. So let's do that here. So big int and big int. Where is big int? Okay, there we go. The message itself, we don't know how long the message will be. So let's put text, the file, variable character. We're just going to be storing the link to the file itself. So I think 500 characters should do. And then received is a yes or no. So yes or no, we're going to use tiny int, same as tiny int here, and a length of one and here one. Same thing here, we're just checking whether uh, it was deleted by the sender and deleted by the receiver. So one, one. And then date will be date time as usual, date time. And make sure that ID is auto increment and you set it as the primary key. Okay, now I've seen uh, most people struggling with uh, database, the databases here. Sometimes they, if for example, you have a database where when creating the record, some of these might be missing, for example, in the file, it's very possible to have a message that doesn't have text but has a file only, or sometimes it has text without a file. So these two are optional to an extent. So make sure you are here where it says no. You make sure that you set it to accept no values by default. So tick those two. Uh, these ones like received and seen, uh, we can just add a default value of zero. I'll also add a default value here of zero because that's the default. Uh, it has, when a message is sent, it has not been received or seen, so zero, zero. And it only changed to one when one of those happens. So same thing here, we're going to as defined zero, as defined zero that is to avoid the no option so there would never be a no value in here so we can ignore this and then date time uh, you could set it to no as well if you want to accept no values but since uh, messages will never be um, they'll never be edited you can only delete a message so we can do add the current timestamp there so let's just add current timestamp so that we don't have to worry about this in our PHP. Okay, so there we go. No, no, no. And then sender, the sender and the receiver should always be there. So we don't have to worry about no values. The message ID should always be there. And ideally the ID will always be there. So let's save that and call it a day. Okay, so we have uh, a messages. Very good. Mm -hmm. So now uh, what I want to do next is go back here. Let's see what errors we have left. All right, so now these ones require that we actually read from our database. So we're going to do that in the next video.